The dance was said to have begun among poor and working class blacks in the South Bronx in the early 1970s. B-Boy's foundation was the result of a potent combination of 60s and 70s soul, funk, and rock mixed dance styling inspired by James Brown. With the growing fame of DJs Cool Herc and Grandmaster Flash and the incorporation of Jamaican dancehall standards, the foundation to hip-hop culture formed. New York adolescents began going off. By the mid to late 1970s, adolescents and teenagers of various backgrounds shifted the dance to the floor where acrobatic moves increasingly became the norm. By the early 1980s, the culture spread out of the boroughs that fostered its growth and hit the mainstream with a force that captured the imagination of kids and marketers alike. B-boying was among the first hip-hop elements to capture large-scale commercial appeal, flooding the market over the three to four year period peaking in 1985. Breakdancing, as it was known in the media, became a catch-all for street dance of the 70s and 80s, including West Coast genres of locking and popping, considered a flash in the pan fad. Breakdancing became the source of a great deal of criticism from health officials who warned parents against the dangers of untrained kids attempting certain moves. Various city councils beginning in San Bernardino passed ordinances against public breakdancing circles and kids were ticketed, fined, and even arrested for disturbing the peace, loitering, disrupting the flow of traffic, fighting, and gang activity. Since the initial explosion of b-boying, it is now a worldwide phenomenon. While its life in the U.S. has ebbed and flowed, its international existence has grown progressively, retrieving many of B-Boy's pioneers and helping to revive its popularity in the U.S. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. I moved to Philadelphia in 1998. I started breaking when I was maybe 12. The beginning of the whole thing for me was when I saw Soul Train, it was New York City Breakers. So I saw New York City breaking. When I started in 82, nobody was really doing it on my block. You know, people thought I was weird and you know, I would throw down to any kind of music. But the beautiful thing was when the movie Flashdance came out, which uh, aired some New York B-Boys, Rocksteady Crew, the whole world got to see what breaking was about, and including Puerto Rico. When I went to school that fall, a lot of the guys were already doing it. And what I found out later was they had cousins going back and forth from New York City and they would bring back different moves, different ideas. I could be in my classroom and a little kid would come running to the classroom and say, Hey, Po, there's guys from Comerillo here that want to battle. They're waiting for all the b-boys in the plaza. We would just cut class, we'd get up and go and go to the plaza and just battle. And that's how it was. I really started to like focus on doing it more and all the time and every moment I got and every chance I got to like explore what it was what it was like. I started practicing more. I would cut class, steal money from my mother's purse and act like I'm going to school and I would go to the movie theater and I would just wait for that one minute clip. It's a groove, it's a rhythm, it's a feeling, it's an understanding, it's an approach. So many other art forms around the world have similar movements. Uh, what people need to understand is our movements is done with a certain approach. And that approach makes our dance what it is.